morning. This is the 18th of March, 2019. I just posted a video and I talked about Mozambique and the floodings that's taking place in Mozambique and the cyclone that they anticipate might result in the loss of life of at least a thousand people. Just got another article posted on CNN and just wondering if uh, maybe there's a pattern here. Is it possible that they're trying to get rid of our breadbasket? Where's most of our food, our wheat, and our corn? Where's it grown? Well, it's grown in the center of the United States. Title, Nebraska flooding has turned towns into islands. No more areas could get submerged. This is written by Holly Van Palpy Murray, Christina Maxaros, and Amar Vera. I guess they all want a little pat on the back. I don't know why it takes four people to write one article. Uh, there's an embedded video of the weather forecaster. You want to listen to what he has to say. Article, this landlocked state shouldn't have any islands, but the deadly flooding that has deluged parts of Nebraska and created islands where dry land should be could get worse before it gets better. Quote, this really is the most devastating flooding we've probably ever had in our state's history. From that standpoint of how widespread it is, Governor Pete Ricketts said Monday. You see a pattern here? Huh? Worst, most devastating flooding in the state's history? What did Mozambique just say? More than 8 million people are under flood warnings in the Midwest and the Mississippi River Valley. CNN meteorologist Dave Hennon said, the Nebraska Emergency Management Agency said on Monday that as of 6 p.m., 74 cities, four tribal areas, and 65 counties have declared emergencies in the wake of flooding. Eastern Nebraska remains the hardest hit area, with much of the southeast part of the state under flood warnings, he said. The flooding has already killed two people in Nebraska and one in Iowa, Ricketts said at least one person remains missing in Nebraska. Near Winslow, Nebraska flood water is eating away the side of one of the few roads leading into town, CNN's Stephanie Alam reported. There's an embedded video where you can see that happening. U.S. Senator Deb Fisher said in a statement Monday that Nebraska and Ricketts will send a request to President Donald Trump for disaster aid. However, Fisher said the request can be made, can't be made until damages are assessed fully. She said she would lead the Nebraska congressional delegation in a letter supporting the governor's request. I want all Nebraskans to know that my office stands ready to do everything in our power to lend a helping hand in any way we can, Fisher said. <laughs> yeah, another worthless congressional representative. In Lincoln, Nebraska, Mayor Chris Butler requested a disaster declaration from Ricketts on Monday after flooding caused the city's 284,000 residents to be placed under restricted water usage. A weakened levee breach flooded one of the city's wells fields along the Plate River, causing power outages in and around the wells fields. Residents are being asked to limit their water usage to drinking health and limited sanitation purposes. Butler is mandating restaurants serve food using disposable place settings and cups, shutting down car washes, and prohibiting outdoor water use while the city remains under restrictions. Flood records have been shattered in 17 places, and more rivers will likely break, cresting records this week. The Nebraska Emergency Management Agency said a crest is the highest point of a flood wave. Now the big concern is water draining downstream, further deluging communities that can't take any more flooding. The mammoth flooding follows a powerful bomb cyclone that slammed the central United States last week with hurricane-like winds and blizzard conditions. Melting ice and snow ended up in rivers and streams causing flooding and damage days after the precipitation was over. 
When a destructive mix of water and ice barreled towards Willard and Dennis Rosiska's farm, 15 neighborhoods scrambled to help. Lori Kenyuk Nee was one of the neighbors who raised the Ruzik's five-generation farm Saturday night. The helpers tried to move cattle, equipment, and vehicles as fast as they could. But less than three hours later, water and ice tore through the farm. The blacksmith shop and grain bins were demolished. Newborn calves and their mothers were killed, and about 500 bales of stockpile hay were washed away. Folks, they're killing our food supply. It just ate away at everything, Knig said. I don't think the power of ice could do what it did. Now, Iowans are also grappling with dangerous flooding. James Neiman heard sirens blaring across the city to Hamburg around 4 a.m. Monday. A barrier that the town had built and reinforced to hold back river water was breaking. Everyone needed to go. Now, the Ammon's basement is flooded. If the water rises two feet more, it will reach his home's first floor. Feels pretty numb, he said as he stared at his flooded home. It's not something that you immediately process seeing things that you have never seen before. The water treatment plant in Hamburg began taking on water Sunday, according to CNN's affiliate, WOWT-TV. Emergency management crews are giving residents bottled water, and a hospital in the city has been disconnected from the plant and is relying on other sources. Customers of the plant were asked to limit their use of water to items like washing machines and dishwashers until the plant can get back to regular operation. President Donald Trump responds to flooding in Midwest. Let me guess, we support you and thank all of the first responders working long hours to help the great people of Iowa. This tweet read, this guy's got to stop tweeting, you know. I mean, he's killed his presidency with his tweets. President Trump's quote tweeted, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds on Monday saying his team was in close contact with her. whoopie do shit His team was in close contact with her. What the hell does that mean? Huh? Absolute joke. I'm surprised he didn't say the citizens of Iowa are in our prayers in Nebraska. Huh? <laughs> what a complete joke. It isn't funny, folks. I think they're destroying our food source. There's more for you to read. Have a look at the photographs. Absolutely devastating. Thanks for listening. You want to repost this on all your social media accounts. Pass along to like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same.